Hi, my name is Paul Miles and I'm editorial manager at On Our Radar and I have worked um, on stories in the UK, Africa and India. So, on this flip chart we have the four key components for a good story and they spell out news. So I'm going to talk you through them quickly. The first one, N, is for new. So what that means is that any good story has to tell someone something new, otherwise they wouldn't go on and carry on reading it. So it might be a completely new topic, something that people don't know about yet, or it may be a topic which is much discussed and well known about, but you're bringing a new piece of information, a fresh angle, or a new character into the story. E is for energetic or emotional. So many good stories don't just rely on the basic facts. In order to engage people, people have to be interested on an emotional level. So perhaps that you really associate with the main character or the protagonist of the story so you can go along and feel their ups and downs as they experience them. Or perhaps there's some energy, someone's travelling somewhere, someone's doing something, something has gone wrong or something has gone spectacularly well. But all these kind of things help to carry a story and make it interesting. The W is for worthy of public attention. Now this is a really important one because you have to think about what your audience is and why they would be interested. There are many stories which are interesting to your family or your friends or your colleagues people who are in your close circles and who are interested in similar things to you. But what you have to really think about is why would other people want to read about that? Is it an issue that's important to them? Or how can you relate your story to make it important to them? An S is for solid facts, and that is a crucial tenet of any good reporting or journalism because you need to be trusted as a reporter that what you're saying to your audience is actually true. So any good story is going to have five key components which will tell the reader or the listener everything they need to know. And I use the five W's to remember these key components. You have who, what, where, when and why. And these, these five W's can be applied to any kind of story you're telling. Whether you're making a film or whether you're writing a longer piece but equally for much shorter pieces of media, such as a tweet, or a Facebook post, or an SMS. The principles of reporting are exactly the same whether I was working as a journalist uh, for television, covering national stories, or whether I'm working with citizen reporters um, from a community in Nigeria, for example. In any story, we're seeking to convey the story with honesty and integrity. We're seeking to tell a story that surprises people, that people haven't heard before. And, you know, we may be seeking to challenge power or challenge injustice. But for any story, the key tenet is truth. And as a citizen reporter, you should always be verifying facts, verifying your information and making sure that you tell the truth. So micro-reporting isn't the only tool for citizen journalists. You can start off with a micro-report with the five W's, as we discussed before, and use things like Twitter, Facebook to gain traction for your story. But as a mobile journalist, you may have other options depending on your phone. You may be able to take photos which tell the story in much more depth. A picture speaks a thousand words. You may be able to use your phone to record audio. You may be able to record an interview or um, somebody's perspective from on the street about somewhere they've just been. So there are many ways to add more colour and more depth for your story.